Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for another build. So the other day, or the other week really, I did a build of Belle's kind of starlit bedroom inside her new provincial house which we got in the starlight bundle. So today I thought I'd expand that and add things to the different rooms inside. So first off I obviously had to build a library inside this house, it only made sense. Now I was going to do originally for this house, I was going to do three separate libraries in all of the three different spare rooms I had. I was thinking I could do like a dark rustic library, I could do a really bright kind of white sort of palace themed library and maybe something else. But I was umming and ahhing for a long time and I thought I actually think it'd be much better to do three different themed rooms inside this build. So I started off with the main library room which I obviously used some of the frozen bookshelves. There's one with the bell in it and then one with the like green plant. So they slightly vary but they're pretty much the same thing. So I started by lining those up where I wanted them to be around the room. To match the bookshelves I used uh, the Grand Dining wallpaper, I'm pretty sure this is a Little Mermaid um, wallpaper and then I also just used some sort of dark wood plank flooring and I used some of the golden arch windows we got with the ultimate bundle which are Cinderella windows and then I used the Grand Dining doors which are obviously Beauty and the Beast themed as well. On the walls I used some of the red banners again from the Ultimate Edition and some of the sort of candelabras that you can get from Scrooge and in the middle of the bookshelves I used one of the reading nooks we got when we got Belle and Beast and then I went in and started placing down a lot of the books and things like that that I knew I wanted to use. Originally I wanted to use these smaller brown tables and then realised that they were way too small to fit what I wanted them to be and they would have just looked weird in the room so at some point I do go to Scrooge's again and I get some different tables which you'll see later on but I kind of mapped him where I wanted everything to go because I could get a general idea of where everything would be laid out. Now as we have so many different variations of books to be able to get from Scrooge's store, I think most of these are sword in the stone items, because there's so many different sizes and variations of them, I kind of dotted them around in all the corners of the room as well as on the library end tables just to make it seem really book heavy in here and just to make it really fit the vibe and then I added some red rugs around the back. Once I got the final table I added that in and I kind of went for a more structured setup in the front and then in the back I wanted it to be kind of a cosy section where you'd kind of sit in the reading nook and sort of snuggle up and get a book and then I moved on to the next room. Now in this back room I decided to make it a music room so I just went in and sort of tested some different wallpapers but I felt like the Ratatouille one which is the gold wallpaper just made the most sense it was very sort of plain and simple but still looked quite elegant but I did play around with a what with it for a while with what I wanted to go for <laughs> I didn't have a huge idea of how I wanted it to be laid out obviously I knew we have quite a lot of different musical instruments in the game that would have worked really really well in this room and I kind of knew the sort of style I wanted to go for but I did kind of just place everything out as I tend to do just to get an idea of what objects I had to use and then I started lining up things around the room. Something that 
I wasn't sure would work in here, but actually when I get around to the final bit, it does actually really fit, is the new dorm window we got with Monsters Inc. Obviously it is like a little nook with loads of books and things like that, and I wasn't sure if it would fit the vibe, but because the wood matched a lot of different items in the room, it really tied it all together and actually gave the room a lot more dimension. So I really enjoy being able to use that new window. Now something I didn't expect to add in but I thought would be really cute is a sort of coffee station or a snack station. I feel like it just fit really well with the vibe of the room that people would come here and hang out and obviously they would come out and then they could get themselves a drink or something to eat. So as you'll see as I go along and I kind of change the layout a bit, you'll see I do add that in but I just thought the Monsters in coffee machine we got in the star path just really fit perfectly in this room. So at some point I, you'll see I do go in and kind of change things up and get things where I want them to be. of items in here pretty much all of the items in here are from scrooge's shop there are a couple of quest items in here with characters so if you haven't got those yet that may be why um they are from quests and the only thing that is premium shop is the coffee cups that are above the kind of coffee station these were in a premium bundle it was like a frozen kitchen bundle and they these are adorable i love using these so if you don't recognize them and haven't seen them in scrooge's it is because they are premium so hopefully they'll come back at some point soon for those of you who haven't had a chance to get them because they are really really lovely. go in and make a bunch of drinks and food to put on the station i went for kind of like sweet snacks and drinks and the rug in the middle of the room is a touch of magic rug it's just kind of this like fluffy style rug and i just think it filled this dead space in the middle really well so if you were to do a dream snap in here obviously i'd remove the rug completely because obviously it can't be in the dream snap but because i knew i wouldn't probably be doing that i decided to just pop that in the middle just to fill up the space but there are probably other options options from Scrooge's that you could use if you are not a fan of Touch of Magic. Now one of the final things I did in here was actually I changed up the windows. I realised that I'd actually bought these really cute Cinderella windows with the blue sort of curtains on them and they just worked so much better in here than the original windows I placed so that was the final thing before I moved on to the final room which is our art room. Now this is in the main entrance way room when you first come in. I just felt like it made more sense to have this in here as you kind of come into this massive pop of colour and then you can go to all the other rooms around the sides for all the different things.
Now in this room I had a lot of items I placed out just to see what I had because there was a lot of things I knew I could use in here that would actually look really nice but I do have to kind of pick and choose what I use by the end because obviously with this being the main entrance room there's a lot of space that you can't use because there's three separate doors that are kind of taking up space wall space so I kind of had to pick and choose what to use but I kind of just went for the things that fit most with the atmosphere and kind of didn't block these really gorgeous painted windows from Scrooge's that I wanted to be on display. <laughs> Once I finally got everything in kind of the sections I wanted it to be in I just had a little rearrange of where the smaller items were going and that kind of completed the room I do go in finally at last and change the wallpaper and floor for some reason it just didn't occur to me to change this until the end of the build so I do go in and obviously change those just to make the room a lot brighter as it suited kind of a lighter wall and flooring combo. So this is the final build. So obviously the first entrance room is our art room. I absolutely love how this turned out. I love how much light comes through those big painted windows. So we have obviously the easel sections at the front and then in the back we have the little sewing station with the new craft board from Scrooge, which I love. And then the sort of painting table area in the corner. Majority of this is all from Scrooge's store, apart from the cherry blossom trees, the pillars, the little pet plates on the wall and a couple of other little things but apart from that they are all Scrooge and accessible to everyone. Next we move into the music room I think this is such again such a cute room I think it's got a nice kind of open feel I love that the dorm window really opens the room up and gives it more dimension so I just included a bunch of different musical instruments and something that I didn't expect to use was the new plaque we got from Sully I feel like it looks like when a CD or a record goes platinum or gets a certain goal and they get those really cool plaques. That's what it reminded me of at least. It might look weird to other people, but for me it worked. But obviously in here we have our different like music instrument setups around and a little desk to write at and then our really cute little coffee station where people can get some drinks and snacks while they're hanging out in here and making music. Now as we head into the final room of the build we have our library, the main attraction of this build and I really love how this turned out. I feel like the dark wood floor with the dark wood bookshelves matched with the pop of red from the banners and the chairs just makes it feel really cosy and kind of royal in a way but also very rustic. I think it was that nice balance. I placed the chandeliers above the tables to kind of make it seem a lot more fancy but I really like how this looks in this kind of front section we have a lot of books on the table where people would sit and read and write and just generally kind of get on with what they're doing and then in the back here we obviously have the little reading nook that goes into the wall. The beautiful windows which I love they remind me of like a church stained glass window so they do feel very fancy and some books and things like that. So that is the final build. I hope you guys enjoy. This house is now completely decorated and complete. We do have the starlit bedroom on the other room. So if you haven't seen that, do go and check out the video where I decorated that before. That uses all the new bundle items. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Bye.